Police have arrested a 15-year-old Milwaukee boy in connection with a shooting at a suburban mall Friday that left eight people injured. At a news conference Sunday afternoon, Wauwatosa Police Chief Barry Weber said the shooting at Mayfair Mall was not random but an altercation between two groups. Weber gave no further information on the suspect, saying the investigation into the incident was ongoing and that the weapon was recovered at the scene. Several other arrests have been made, police said. The coronavirus is experiencing its biggest surge so far, and it couldn't come at a worse time. With Thanksgiving less than a week away, Americans are dying from COVID-19 at a rate of one every minute. In light of the surge, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are recommending that no one travel for the holiday weekend. It seems every day the United States is hitting a new record for the number of new cases or the number of deaths in a day. With the United States hitting new coronavirus milestones nearly every day, and at 182,601 new cases on Thursday, the White House Coronavirus Task Force met for a news briefing for the first time in months. The task force announced that they are seeing the fastest spread yet of COVID-19. However, they also shared their thoughts on being against lockdowns and school closures. They are hoping that a vaccine will soon be available, and indeed both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine candidates are very close. A federal court delayed the execution of Lisa Montgomery, the first woman to face the federal death penalty in decades, on Thursday because her attorneys caught COVID-19 and couldn't prepare her clemency application. The court order, signed by U.S. District Judge Randolph Moss, blocks the federal government from executing Montgomery before the end of the year. That will give her lawyers Amy Harwell and Kelly Henry time to prepare a petition to President for a commuted sentence. Joe Burrow was looking forward to 2021 even as his rookie season was apparently ended by a scary knee injury. Burrow was hit high and low by Washington lineman Montez Sweat and Jonathan Allen after throwing a pass, and the QB's left leg bent the wrong way. Burrow couldn't put any weight on it as he was helped onto a cart. That's an injury right there to a team leader that can take the wind out of your sails, Bengals coach Zach Taylor said. It's not fun. He was making improvements every week, and we were getting the offense headed in a direction that we thought was exciting. Burrow was 22 of 34 for 203 yards and a touchdown before the injury.